Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Paragon Rescue Kit 9.0 Express CD for free. Now there's a lot of these on the uh, internet at the moment and uh, so they're all Linux based but some are good and some are bad I suppose but I'm going to have a look at this one. I've never used this really so I don't really know what it is like or, but I did like the idea that it has got uh, an easy fix boot problems. Now this may be useful for people that haven't got a Windows CD and you can actually fix um, uh, because it says it's got a boot correct on it and it works with Vista and Windows XP and 2000 and server and also it's got a underneath partitions there and it's also got um, a file transfer wizard which is pretty useful as well and it's a freebie so and it's about a 45 megs download and you can get it from uh, www.paragon dash software.com download it and have a little look for yourself if you've got a problem and it's free so it's not going to hurt so here we are we've got our uh, ISO image there and uh, what I'm going to do is boot to my virtual machine and have a little look and see what it's like so obviously this is the uh, startup screen that you get and uh, we're going to select normal mode Let's see what that does. It's always useful to keep an eye out for new software on the market and find out whether it's any good or not. I mean, it may be a load of rubbish, I don't know, but it's always worth a look. So, we've got the file transfer wizard here. Let's have a little look at that first. So, basically, you go next, I should imagine. And obviously, we're going to see how we can now see it. So, imagine you can't boot to anything your PC's not booting up and you want to get some vital files out of my documents um, you can click on my computer C drive uh, documents and settings and then go into my folder of the user account Brytech and see my documents there click on that and put that over now maybe you've got something on your desktop that you wanted to save as well and then basically we've got these two here would go next obviously and we'd need to have a location now maybe we've got a partition or an external hard drive click on that and then select the drive that you've got that's ex an external drive or something like that now this is a virtual machine so it hasn't um, got nothing like that so basically if it did have a drive here you could click on that and then select that drive and then send those files to that drive and save all your schoolwork or coursework or maybe just documents or something of that nature so that's the actual transfer wizard and that's pretty cool um, that's going to get you out of trouble now and again uh, the boot corrector a bit dubious on that whether it's going to be really really good I don't know but um, it says it works with 2003 Vista server XP and 2000 um, and it says it creates uh, it corrects the most common uh, boot problems so I haven't put it through its paces yet so I'll probably have a go at that at some time in a week and come back to you guys and let you know whether it's, uh, it says what it, it does what it says it can do so basically uh, we've got a search windows installations to correct you've got a correct master boot record you've got to correct the uh, partition boot record there also modify partition parameters you've got, you've got a few bits and pieces and also correct the boot parameters for boot any and bcd uh, so let's have a little look at that yeah so basically it does a few bits and pieces um, as I said whether it will fix actual error messages with the operating system I don't know we'd have to have a look at that um, let's cancel that out and also it's got an undelete partition so what it will do obviously is scan um, as it says here uh, select a block that a free block to uh, scan for lost partitions okay so it will actually search for a lost partition and try and recover that lost partition okay it's pretty much self-explanatory really and that's all it really does it's got three little tools in it the file uh, transfer wizard is pretty good useful and also the boot corrector if it does what it says it can do and fix a lot of common boot problems you may be up and running and you ain't got a windows cd it's going to get you out of trouble and it's only 45 megs to download so uh let us know give it a try if you've got a boot problem give it a try let us know whether it fixed your problem if it don't type whatever comments you like up there if it's rubbish tape up there's absolute rubbish didn't do it 
and uh, at least we'll know. Okay, so my name is Brian from brighttech.co.uk. I hope this uh, video has been some use to you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and show your support. And uh, if you've got any questions, leave a comment up there or send me an email and I'll try and do my best to help you. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.